Yo, it's your boy Hi, man. Look, uh, I got another recommendation to uh, to uh, react to uh, you know DDG. You feel me? Uh, his interview with Hip Hop DX. This is by I don't know, bro. I don't know your name, bro. But you, what is it? K Ken Ken Z M W. I don't know his name, but he told me react to DDG interview. So I'm gonna see what's to it. You feel me? It's a quick little twelve minute video. Let's get right into it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what am I, what do I got going on? Y'all know. Hey, look, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know. I'm going to keep it real in all my videos, bro. I don't come on here to fake nothing, bro. Everything is real. So, I mean, if you getting your opinions about what I say, it is what it is. But I'm going to keep it real. But, hey, y'all know we came here to do, man. Y'all know we didn't come here to do, man. We came here to get straight to the point, man. What we didn't come here to do, man. It's all that other stuff, man. But with that being said, man, let's get right into it. Let's see what let's see what DDG talking about, all right? I know I am, so I'm excited for this journey. Before we get into this, I'ma say this right now. I'ma say this right now. DDG is a very intelligent business, man. He's very smart at what he do, for sure. I won't never take that from this man. This man is a very smart, intelligent business, man. At the, especially at the age he at. For sure, for sure. Salute. What's good? It's your boy DDG, and right now you're watching Hip Hop DX, the Thought Box. Is this what I think it is? What is that? This is the first song that I ever made. <laughs> <laughs> That was Diddy's G song. Studio for like forty dollars. I recorded it in somebody's living room, and um, yeah, did the music video. I edited the music video myself. I felt like I was really lit. I felt like I was on top of the world at the time. I had like thirty-five thousand YouTube subscribers. I said it in the song and everything. And I felt like I was lit, so I showed everybody. I'm probably the sexiest nigga in Hollywood. <laughs> like this. Okay. Lee. Crazy experience, man. They got young My cousin already knew that. I'm going to tell y'all something. Though. Uh, what I was going to say. Uh, I've been watching DDG before he even blew up. I've been watching DDG since he was at the bottom. I watch, I remember I was watching a video with DDG before he blew up when he went to Vegas with his mama and he said he couldn't do nothing. I'm, that was DDG, I'm pretty sure. His first video, I, I started watching him way back before he blew up when he was like a young, a young boy, you feel me? Me, listen, me wanting to be a, a, a YouTuber, bro, I was in the, I was literally watching people from the beginning to now where they are right now, you feel me? I watched everybody, Soluminati, Flight, everybody. I watched them all, I watched all of their beginning videos, and I literally sat there and studied what they were doing because I've been watching people since, like, I was a shorty, bro, and it's always been a big dream of mine, bro, to be a YouTuber, bro, you feel me? But that's all I got. They told me. But this always been a dream of mine, bro, to really be, you know, a YouTuber, bro. And even though I'm not big right now, bro, I already know where I'm going to end up, bro. You feel me? But and I'm not saying that in no cocky way, bro. I just know my potential and what I could bring to the table for everybody on YouTube, bro. You feel me? Because I'm looking at the youth. I'll be looking at the YouTube algorithm, bro, and... I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro, because I'm not gonna sit on here a lot of y'all, bro. I've been looking at the YouTube algorithm, bro. I've been looking at all the people that y'all be watching, and y'all, I ain't, man, I needed to come out, bro. So that's why I'm here right now, because I'm really giving y'all, you feel me? I wanna give y'all something that's really real, bro, because I see what other YouTubers is doing, and I see, you feel me? A lot of the good YouTubers is leaving. So I'm going to come and fill in the void for all the good YouTubers that y'all be, you feel me, that y'all been trying to watch, bro, you feel me? But right now, I'm not one of the big YouTubers that's up at top. But trust and believe, bro, y'all going to see, bro, I'm telling y'all, bro. I'm going to fill in that void, I promise y'all, bro, I promise y'all, I'm, I'm going to give it my all, y'all going to, I'm, I'm going to give it everything I got to make sure I replace DDG, Soluminati, Anybody else that child left, that child been waiting on to come back, I'm going to fill that void for them because I know y'all been waiting on them to come back. DDG left us. He he a, he a rapper now. I respect him. Salute to him. So Luminati got his own stuff going on. He don't really care about YouTube. He care about y'all, but 
And you know, he focused on this other stuff, but now nah, it's my turn, you feel me? So I'm going to take advantage of what I got, and I'm going to, you feel me? I'm going to give y'all what I got. I'm going to give y'all everything, bro. So stay tuned. You, if you're here right now, you're going to remember this video, bro. Y'all going to see, bro. Everybody like, oh, my God, how did he do it? Just stay tuned, though. For sure. So I was like, oh, that's lit. Man. You know, I hear Zay talking beats all the time. I was like, it's crazy. I get to Atlanta. So we pull up to, um, it's called Patchwork Studio or whatever. Go in there, and then he was chilling in the studio. I shake his hand, talk to him, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, this is it. I'm, I made it. So, you know, we bought the beats off of him right there, cash. Bought the really? beat. Yeah, my cousin bought the beats. But I went to the studio, made the song at this little, it was like a janky studio, random in Atlanta. And then, um, that was it, man. I went back to the crib, shot the video. I remember this song, too. But the song that I did was called Balenciaga. Yeah, I went to Magic City. My cousin paid $200 for me and my other cousin to get in. We both 17. I got my own stripper. She crazy. She, uh booty crazy all that she was fully grown like i'm just i'm smacking her butt i got her on a wall she twerking me up it was late though i felt like i was at a he said at 17 bro he was doing i was at 17 i think when i was watching him bro he was like 18. he was like 18 bro and he because i remember when if y'all know ddg bro he was in vegas bro he was in vegas with his mama and he was out there, bro. He's like, yeah, Vegas is cool and all, but bro, I'm gonna be back when I'm 21, bro, because right now, you feel me, I'm not old enough. And it's like, he went as a shorty, and I was watching that. I remember that exact vlog with his mama. I remember it. At a party. So I was turning up or whatever, and then I seen my cousins throwing a bunch of ones, but I also seen fives coming too, right? So I'm sitting down, I got this stripper on my lap or whatever, and I start reaching down and taking the money and putting the money in, I was like putting the money in my pocket. And then I go to the bathroom, this is in Magic City. I go to the bathroom, it's like two in the morning. I go to the bathroom and then I count the money up in the stall. And then I come back out and go steal some more money and then I go cut it up. At the end of the night I had like 150, something like that. Then I went to, you I went, with that? I left with that, right? So look, so I went, so I went there, right? My, my other cousin, he got some money too. I went to Lenox Mall and then I bought, I had $600 to my name and I bought some Balenciaga. Education, man. For sure. You gotta get out you live. Yes, sir, my dog. Try on the beat, yeah. Me and went to high school together, all through high school. Then I used to work at TJ Maxx. He used to work at TJ Maxx. So we've been homies, we hoop and all that, and then he used to make like graphics and all this other stuff, and he was making beats too. So I was like, "Bet, bet I'm making music." So he started sending me beats. And he had come out to LA, cause I didn't really get into music heavily until yeah. I moved out to LA. I moved out to LA. That's when I really started focusing on him. Then he had come For out sure. there, and then he had make beats, and he made hits. Look, baby, listen, I'm all just lying. If you watch a uh, DDG video, he said it, bro. I don't know if he's gonna talk about it in the video, but he said, uh, what do you say? He said he was doing skits and all that. And uh, he said he dropped out of school and he fully started portraying his dream as a YouTuber. And uh, when he dropped out, he moved to Cali, you feel me? He dropped out of school, he quit his job, moved, moved to Cali. And uh, at, when he moved to Cali, he started really taking it serious, bro, because he's like, Bro, you gotta understand, bro, when you're a YouTuber, bro, you can't have a nine to five or none of that. Any YouTuber will tell you that, bro. It's it's like it's too much, it's too much like YouTube is not no no half committed type of energy, bro. You can't be half in and half out. You gotta be hundred percent in, bro, or it's not gonna move. You feel me? So if you ever look to be a YouTuber, bro, you gotta be hundred percent in, bro. Cause if you got a nine to five or you got another job on the side. And you want to be a YouTuber, bro. I mean, yeah, you can take the easy route and, you know, take the easy route with me and keep a nine to five and still do YouTube on the side. But, bro, it's going to take way longer if you do it that way, bro. But if you fully commit yourself and get it, give, every, give it your all, bro, your stuff going to start growing. And it's going to give you so much money, bro. YouTube is not no, it's not no 
half committed, bro. You can't be half committed to YouTube, bro. You feel me? You got to get YouTube your all. For all you up and coming YouTube, bro, you got to give it your all, bro. For sure. Don't give it half in, half out. That's why y'all see me giving it 30 videos a day or 29 videos a day or however many videos I give it. Like, I give y'all a lot of videos a day because you got to be fully committed, bro. And that's what it is. That's when, that's when he was, he was uh, committed to Kennedy. Oh, shit. Okay. Evening, gentlemen. Oh, oh shit. The skits. Can I get your order to speed it up for you? I wanted to be an actor, but I didn't like the experience. This is really, that that situation is really the reason why I gave up on acting. Really? Yeah, because oh, it was like, I went there and I was sitting there. I, was, I swear to God, I was sitting there literally all night. Probably like five hours just to say three lines. <laughs> so just one... Uh, what the hell? I'll do the same. I will get that order going right up for you, sir, okay? All right. I was like, nah, I'm cool off acting. If this is how it is, that was just our first experience, though, but I'm pretty sure if you just start a show, you ain't got to deal with that. Oh, crazy. <laughs> Dug deep. Lit. This is your first YouTube channel ever? My very first one ever. Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't know about this gaming channel. I ain't know about that, but. What's up, everybody? It's Sneak Mode and it's oh. Man, I used to be like very, very heavily into Call of Duty. Like I'm talking about Prestige 20. Coming up, uh, I was very into Call of Duty too. I wasn't, bro, I used to play, I, I ain't gonna lie to Shorty, bro, I'ma keep it real, child. Shorty, I wanted to be in phase, bro. I swear to God, that was one of my biggest dreams. I used to be one of the people on Call of Duty that was quick scoping, 360, I was doing trick shot, I was doing, I was doing everything, but it's like, bro, I'ma be real. I was never as skilled as nobody else that I was playing with. Like, people was hitting trick shots every day. I probably hit a trick shot every now and then, bro. Like, I wasn't that good at trick shotting, bro. But I used to love that. Like, I used to, bro, Call of Duty is what really trick gave me everything, bro. Because when I first started playing the game, I'll tell y'all this, bro. When I first started playing the game, you feel me? I first started playing, I was at my cousin's house. And he had Call of Duty Black Ops. It was Black Ops 1. And he had all the zombie maps, bro. Every single zombie map pack. I swear to God. <laughs> he had every map pack, bro. He had this 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 one they had Ascension all that. I remember I was playing Ascension, bro. And after I played Ascension, bro, I swear to God, I got so addicted to Call of Duty, bro. My whole life changed after that, bro. Like I was in love with the game, bro. And then 2K and all that came up. We gonna speak on that later. I'm talking about I had clan, the yellow tag. I had a clan too. I was in I was in uh Cuff. I was in Cuff. Then my other game attack was Terizif. Like, I was a real crazy trick shotter, bro. Like, I'm telling you, I used to do that for real, bro. But then I stopped doing that because I thought I fell in love with 2K. I fell in love with 2K, 2K15, even though I was playing 2K before the 2K. But when I, when they gave, came out with my park in 2K15, bro, my whole life changed, bro. I swear to God, I fell in love with that game, bro. I fell in love, bro. He's up from New York that I never met in my life. I need you to pull up. We got Team Defender right now. You know what I mean? Like I was I like that, like, too. A geek. At Call of Duty, so for I was sure. like, man, I, I'm watching all these people doing trick shots and all this other stuff. That's what I I just told y'all. I was literally a trick shotter, a quick scoper. I was doing all that, but I wasn't in no big clan. We was some small, you feel me? But I was in a clan for sure. I was heavy on it. I was really quick scoping. I was really a trick shotter, all of that, bro. I, I, bro, I'm telling you. Well, let me try to let me try to do like a little gaming channel. So I saved up enough money. Bought me a little Elgato, plugged it up. Um, I had to use I had to use like a two hundred dollar laptop to try to stream it through there. It was all laggy and shit. So these videos are very very low quality because it was off like a little Dell computer. But um, yeah, I started uploading on there. It just never popped off. I was doing Minecraft. I was trying everything. I just know how to adapt. I'm an yeah. adapter. For sure. If it doesn't work, I know when to get out of it before it gets bad. Lit. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Lil Yachty, diss me. Fuck Yachty. I know he ain't mean to like say nothing disrespectful to me, but I'm like, at the time, I'm lit on YouTube. Like, I'm, he wanted to I'm pulling I views. Did. This is 2017. I'm pulling 500K, 600K a 
million, a million, a million, a million. I'm like, oh, bet. This is just easy little, little chicken, you know what I mean? It, it's DDG, I don't know no SKT. Book or plan, you know you offending me. It, it ain't had nothing to do with like no real beef or nothing. Like, I'm a fan of Lil Yachty, so it was cool. But I haven't actually talked to him in person before. I've been in the same facility, but I never spoke to him because you know, I just don't know what type of energy it yeah, is. You know yeah. what I mean? For but sure, like, for sure. I ain't got no problem with him at all. Yeah. I mean, it was lit. Yeah. Song it was fire. A it was a yeah, it was a moment. It was a great moment. You don't know me while you boosting, you should stop. You hella ugly and your head feel like a mop. <laughs> I didn't need any, 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 any problems. So yeah, I, don't, I didn't, I don't want, I don't get on. Hey, no cap. For sure, hey, I ain't gonna lie. This song's so raw. I, no, no, no D ride stuff. This song, bro, this song cold. Like DDG did it with this one. I ain't gonna lie. With Blueface, the one with Blueface though. They did it with this song. It's like how you get that lit. Same on me, but they think I switch. Blueface, say what up. What up? Oh, that's my homie. We be linking off camera besides music. So I was already cool with him and shit. So it was like, you know, it was organic. He just hit me up and wanted to hop on it. But he was super passionate about the song before. He even got on. He was like, bro, pull up, pull up. I pulled up to the studio. I'm in the studio. Why don't you go in there and do the verse? And then ask for, like, you fuck with that? Ooh, blah, blah, blah. That song was raw, bro. That song was ideas. raw, for he sure. He go back, all this other shit. So it's like, but he went crazy. Yeah. He went crazy. I wasn't expecting him to go that crazy. Yeah, yeah he went cool on that. I ain't gonna like lie. Michael Jackson. I won't take it to y'all. Y'all did y'all thing. No kissing. No cap, no cap, no cap, no cap, no cap. First time I actually met him was at the BET charity game. Yeah, yeah. I played him. I played against the team. My team actually won the whole tournament. For sure, for sure, for you sure. You know, I was supposed to go to the NBA before like all of this. The Warriors, to be exact. Like I, crazy. Wait, when was that? When did the Warriors reach out? This is like. <laughs> like you guys just like hanging here, like. <laughs> <laughs> It's like this is like um I was like eighteen, I was eighteen UCLA I went to UCLA. <laughs> he lied. He lied. I, went to, I went to UCLA he for lied. a year. I went to UCLA for a year, NBA draft or whatever, and they was trying to draft me. I said, no, I'm cool though. You went, this is before Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I, 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 yes, bro, he's not for real. I don't know, but you gotta Google it, man. Come on. Nice. My boy Flight. Y'all are crazy. Y'all know everything. Y'all dug deep. I could have been better than touring. Yeah, man, I was about to be touring in high school, man. I ain't taking it serious, days, though. Man. I just do robotics. I'm a, I'm a little nerd, man. I just had all the hoes and shit. Man. Yeah, he's smart. I used so. to stay after school, like, every day. Nah, every I ain't day, doing like, all that Trying now. to get my homework done before I got to the crib, because I knew I was going to. I did my homework at school, but I ain't do it. I ain't stay after school. No, 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 no. Not me. I did all my work, though. In school, I never took no. I, like I told y'all, I other video, bro. I never went to school with a backpack. I swear to God, you can ask any of my brothers. They can vouch. They'll tell you, like, they'll tell you that boy, every day he left, bro, he left with no book bag. He never had a book bag. And I passed school with all A's. Well, all A's probably had, like, one or two B's. But that's because I, you know, I was very serious about my grades, though, bro. Like, if I didn't have an A, bro, I would get mad. I was one of those. Like, I swear to God, I wouldn't cry, do nothing, no crazy. Like, I'm like, bro, why I got a, a B or something, you feel me? And feel me, they had switcher. The teachers loved me in school. I promise you, the teachers loved me. You could, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I was like the teachers. Lo every teacher loved me, bro. I wasn't one of the, the bad kids. I, I mean, I, I was cool with everybody, but the teachers loved me, bro. The teachers loved me. It was a lot of stuff in school, bro. I was, I was very smart. I could have been better to turn. I ain't take school serious though. Let me be busy, or staying after and picking up the slack on somebody else that they didn't do on the project that we had to do. You know what I mean? Like I used to, it was like a game to me. Like school was a game to me. I'm very, very competitive. And there was a dude that everybody thought was smarter than me. I'm talking about, hey, he's the smartest kid in the world. I'm talking about, he got 
a 32 on his ACT. I got like a 20. He got like a, um, he got accepted into um, Yale or. I'm gonna be real about this too. I ain't take the ACT serious or the SAT, bro. I'm gonna keep it. Right. Well, I take the SAT. Yeah, I ain't take it serious. I mean, I did. I could have probably got a, a 1600 on it, but bro, I didn't really come in there with my mindset on getting a high score, bro. Like. I'm going to be real, in high school, I didn't even want to go to college, bro. So I was never, I never planned my life around college at all. Never. So when it was time to take the SAT, I wasn't really intrigued in that anyway because I didn't care. I never cared about school. Never. I never cared, bro. Like, because I'm telling you, bro, if I was to take school serious, bro, I promise you, I would have been valedictorian with flying colors. But I didn't take school serious, bro. Some some of my friends they told me like bro he cheating they they told me I was cheating because I I didn't take none of the class I was supposed to be in 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 in, in honors and uh in honors and uh what was it I was supposed to be in like honors and and uh what is what the other class AP but I ain't take them all my friends was like bro he cheating bro Nitro so I don't care if y'all know my name bro they was like he's so smart but he just don't take school serious but like he just be chilling like I'm telling you they used to say that to me bro for real for real. Like, I just didn't take it serious, bro. Harvard. You know, crazy uh, shit, right? Yeah, yeah, Harvard. He got accepted to Harvard and all this other stuff. I'm like, okay, bet. So, I'm going to at least get this valedictorian. So, he messed up on the final, and I didn't. Wow. So it was like, it was like neck and neck. He was, I was almost salutatorian, but I was valedictorian. Did he know that, did he know too? Like, did you guys have, like, an unspoken beef in the hallways that you guys were It was like, low-key a beef on my end. He ain't know, though. <laughs> he was, he was just. Mind your business. For sure. Yeah, for I sure. had beef with him for sure. Yeah. I ain't compete with nobody. I ain't, I ain't really, yeah, I ain't really take it serious. That's not what my passion was at, bro. Nerd it out a little bit. There's three types of people in this world those who want it to happen, those who watch it happen, and those who make it happen. I think in the next few years, I'm going to be one of the biggest musical artists out. He, he might be. And then maybe I'm gonna get into acting. I think that I want to be in a big movie, like Dwayne Johnson, lead role. I want to be in one of those next few years. Okay. But I feel like even in this next year or so, these next two years, I think I'm gonna really take off musically. I know I am. So I'm yeah. excited for this for sure journey. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. I'm excited for the next uh, the next steps, and um, you know, appreciate your time and energy today. Hey. That's the end of the video, though, man. Hey, stay tuned, though, bro. I love y'all. Be easy, man. Keep it out Y'all got any more videos y'all want to recommend me? Comment them down below, bro. Any video, I'm going to get to them. You feel me? So I get to them. Man. I love y'all, man. It's your boy, all right, man. Keep y'all head up, man. Like, I'm subscribed, man. I'm out.